Aquaculture is the fastest growing sector of agriculture. Worldwide, it has a growth of about 10% per year. Same is true here in the United States. It's basically farming, but in the water. And just like farming can be cows or pigs or corn or soybeans, uh, aquaculture can be literally anything that lives in the water. So we train people for the aquaculture industry, which is a very broad industry that includes public aquariums, commercial aquaculture production of shellfish, tank production of finfish or pond production of finfish, biotechnology and research institutions. The pet trade is a multi-billion dollar industry. We just visited some coral farms yesterday that said they're no longer exporting corals from Indonesia, which was a huge percentage of the trade. So now here in the United States, people have to kind of culture them themselves and are, are meeting an increased demand for that product. Up until just a few years ago, we were getting the majority of our seafood from the oceans, taking it from the wild. And even though the oceans are huge, they can't keep up with our demand for seafood. Aquaculture is making up for that demand, and the technology and the training of aquaculture students is really important to support industry growth because there's not a lot of aquaculture training programs out there. And so all the students that come through my program and, and get degrees and do well find employment within the industry fairly quickly. We own Chadwick Seafood and we've started a uh, brother company uh, called Carolina Gold Oyster Company. I would say that the biggest thing that I'm learning right now that's going to apply in my business and my real life is water quality measurements. I'm learning, you know, what a shellfish, what a clam likes to grow in. If I have a a problem on the lease, a die off, if so, can I look back at my records and say, okay, what's the problem? I'm sort of a science nerd, I guess you could say, so I really want to know what makes it tick. I've never been to somebody that learns from a textbook, even though I know that's something you have to do, um, but the lab part of it, the hands-on learning, is probably the, the best thing that I've taken away from this program thus far. Students get most excited about the opportunity to work out in the water. We're able to do more hands-on training with our excellent resources, having Vogue Sound behind us and having seawater availability. I never thought I had a classroom that I could walk outside and be in salt water. We've got oysters, we've got clams, we've got crabs. If you can think of it, we've got it. I'm hoping in the future to become an aquatic animal vet. I would love to be the vet for the aquarium. I love animals, period, you know, dogs, cats, whatever. I feel like with this program, it gets me closer to the animals I see when I'm out there. I would say it's most helpful visiting farms. I kind of think it's a great experience to see what all aquaculture has to offer. We work with a lot of the different types of producers. We try to visit as many different kinds of, of farms and, and operations as we can throughout our local region. This afternoon we'll be traveling to uh, a hybrid striped bass farm in Vanceboro. And so we'll get to see what his, uh, their operation is like, what kind of job opportunities there are. It becomes a good relationship and, and an opportunity for employment for graduates of our program. Our local industry is very supportive of the program. They've been very accepting of taking students in uh, to get that experience in a field that really is specific to them. I love what I do because it's a really great opportunity to impact people's lives. I mean, I love working with fish and I've been around the water my whole life and so I get to be around that all the time. But really seeing the students come through here and gain the experience that they want and go on and find gainful employment having fun is just a really beneficial thing. <laughs>